when it, what do we how do we wrap up last time i can't quite remember actually what happened excellent question <laughs> i swear we're still in this like cave place oh we're definitely still in a cave yeah we haven't left that cave yet it's caves here on out boys <laughs> did you guys want to be in a cave for the for time in four episodes because I've got good news for you <laughs> four episodes four recordings sorry no episodes say, I'm pretty sure we're like I don't even know how many episodes in we are uh probably like 62 at this point sweet <laughs> I'm doing one minute episodes <laughs> <laughs> so you mean one one thing one thing happening at a time yeah but 50 seconds of that is intro and outro music so <laughs> All right, Doug, take it away. Uh, so, as far as I remember, uh, you just killed an owl bear. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, hot diggity. With my mighty laser yeah. beam of death. Indeed. I oh, know, was uh, it my mighty laser beam of death, or was it... Finally! I killed it, wasn't it? I did my first thing, ever. Jibblewick I think an, an arrow was the killing. Somebody's arrow. I believe it was a Jibblewick Guys, arrow. Jibblewick. I don't mean to brag, but I did kill the owl beast. Fair. The owl beast fair. I stared it down. Yeah, you finally stepped up to the uh, to the plate and did something. Uh, we also yeah. realised that we'd done some sweet cheating. Uh, yep. oh, yeah. And <laughs> that we all levelled up. And then we all levelled up uh, fairly, but yeah. now you... have the abilities we were already using. <laughs> <laughs> really bad. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, you killed some sort of greyish ooze. Yeah. Yep. That, uh, fine. <laughs> that, that, that killed the mouse. Or did it? No, it, no didn't. it didn't. It didn't. It uh, did, but then it like regenerated. Wait, is Bitey a uh, Time Lord? <laughs> <laughs> he's no longer called Plot Bitey. Twist. Now he's called Doctor Bitey. I'm waiting for that Freaky Friday episode in the future where Bitey gets trapped in my body and I get trapped in Bitey's body. That's that's gonna be. I'm waiting for Bitey to turn around and look at me and go, "Are you my mummy? <laughs> mummy." <laughs> That's if your, if your pet mouse ever starts calling you mummy, run. Speaking of which, you also killed a mummy. We killed a what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got us in a bit of trouble, didn't I? And yeah, you did. like, all right. That was the one that I killed with the crit that, like, just turned, pulled him inside out, basically. So, yeah, you find yourself in the, uh, the Hall of Reflection. I reflect upon the Hall of Reflection. <laughs> Yeah, there was like a statue or something like that. Right, guys, I'm not going to lie. We still haven't found what the hell this golden ruby and sapphire keys for. Very true. Um, and I'm pretty sure at the end of last episode, we all agreed we were actually going to abandon this and go to Noel Dorrit. Oh, you suggested that, that statue. but I'm pretty sure we all said no. Uh, you, you're on about the episode before. I actually recorded one of just me uh, a little while ago. I, I filled in your roles. Don't worry. Like, oh, excellent! I look forward to hearing this. You one. haven't got any gold left. Like that happened. You know. All right, I'll just yeah. cross that out on the. <laughs> no gold. There we go. Your clothes you... are missing as well. Like, no, no I, like I can't well. really can't really go into depth on it. Okay. Um, but, um, My butt hurts. Is that weird as well? What's going yeah, on? there's a, a weird liquid on your mace. Um... Oh, on my mace. I've got a mace as well. <laughs> and a small is that... mouse's tail hanging out of your mouth. <laughs> oh, no. Right, so let's leave yes. the way we didn't come in. Mm -hmm. I.e. the other door. Uh, so you go through another door. Whoa. Good lord. And uh, it's another tomb like you've been in two before. Uh, this one has another sarcophagus in the middle, and behind the sarcophagus is a big uh, statue of uh, another general-looking dude, like a brown cape I, uh, or whatever. Nudge oh, okay. Jibblewick in the shoulder and nod towards it, going, eh, 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 <laughs> eh, eh. He nudges eh. Jibblewick so hard he falls over. <laughs> I'm confused by the uh, sounds that, um... oh. 
Scaram, that's your name. Nearly forgot it. You're quite an unforgettable character, though. You were, ju- so you were nudging him so hard that you forgot your name. <laughs> Nudged him right in the ear. He's like, ah! Can you not? Son of a... Okay, um, well, I mean, we've already, you know... <laughs> fucked killed up one. one of these things. One yeah, wave. I'm not phased can I do? But... Can I do my uh, sweet... Um, the, the move I do every episode, like, eight times? Uh, detect detect location evil, of undead, uh, any et celestial et fiend, undead, any consecrated, desecrated place or object within 60 feet. Can I do that? And see if there's another zombie. You sure can. Oh, boy. Let's wait for the roll. That's a solid 16. Yeah, you feel something out of this too. I look at the lads and go, lads? <laughs> That's what I'm I say. Okay, uh, so are we going to... um. I'm only on 8 out of 18 hit points, by the way. Ah, oh, I'm still on 3. I forgot about this. So, maybe getting in a fight right now, not the best plan? We haven't rested for quite a while as well. We haven't rested for a while. Um, Mr. Dungeon Master, can I yep. do a, a perception or investigation roll or whatever I need to do to just have a look around, see if there's uh, any keyholes... Perhaps. Sure. Wicked. Here we go. That is that a like 19. A oh, plus yeah. Plus one. Unnatural 20. Uh, yeah. You see that this statue behind the sarcophagus thing is actually, like, sculpted into it. It's like holding uh, a box that's on, like, a plinth in front of it. Yes, boys. And that, you reckon that... It seems to have some kind of a keyhole in it. Uh, cool. I, I, hey guys, scram, gibble. This might be the box for our uh, golden ruby sapphire. Key. Is there is there anything on the or around the keyhole to infer that it would be anything to do with rubies and sapphire, or does it just look like a plain keyhole? It just looks like a fairly like. A nice, but just wooden box. Okay. Like, it's got, like, carvings and things, but it's not, like... Can I try the key on it? Um, before he does that, can I ready an action, just in case? Can I also ready an action, just in case? I have... I just don't want this, you know, undead guy. I have a feeling we're about to have a halfling get smashed in the face. Yeah, I'm gonna name him... I'm gonna name the undead guy Barry. I don't want Barry to like just jump up, you know, do a sweet kip up, and then like just punch me right in the testicles. So I'm gonna ready an action. I'm gonna get my greatsword out, and just be just be ready, okay? I'm gonna start readying a spell with my wand. I'm fearless, and I feel like they're getting a bit overexcited over nothing. Um, so obviously I can't ready if I'm gonna be opening this. So yeah. So just so I can figure out where you're actually standing, so where whereabouts are you? So obviously you're stood in front of the box. Yeah. Uh, I'm at the door. Uh, I'll just be like in the middle-ish. You know what? Maybe I should stand directly on the sarcophagus so that you can't put it can't open. <laughs> Get out. Are there any rocks we can put on top of the sarcophagus? Uh, no, not really. Rats. Do I see any books that I could maybe set fire to? <laughs> no. This is unrelated You've... to our current problem. I just want to burn some more books. The world is now devoid of books. Excellent. If Scram's going to be by the door, I'll just, I'll just, I'm just going to stand in the middle. Fuck it. Smack bang in the middle. What could possibly right. go wrong? I go to open the box with the key. It's the wrong key, dickheads. <laughs> Can I get a saving throw? <laughs> Uh, no, you open the box, uh, yeah, well, you unlock the box, and nothing untoward seems to happen. <laughs> you guys are just a bunch of scaredy cats, alright? Me and Bitey, me and Bitey, we're fearful, right, we've got this. What's You're in fearful. the box? I'm fearless, in fact, you know? <laughs> That's how scared I am not that I may be. You're so not scared, you've actually gone full circle into scared again. Exactly. <laughs> I'm ready for everything, but I'm also scared of everything. He's scared that he's not scared. 
<laughs> While Jibberwick's talking smack to me, I push him out of the way and start looking in the box. No, I'm, I'm opening the box. Get out. Get out of my way. Give me that box. I'm having it. And I'll take I the box another, back. I find another ring that gives me plus 80 AC. <laughs> what do you mean another ring? Oh, uh, I find it for the first time, I mean. <laughs> What's in the box that always rocks? Doug's loving it. Um, so you open the box, and inside is what appears to be just like a sword hilt, like fairly plain. Oh. Huh. Oh. Well, that's uninspiring. Could I do an arcana check on that sword hilt from over at the door going? Yes. Uh, over at the not... door. Let's do it quite loudly. <laughs> you can't. In... <laughs> you can't inspect it directly from where you are, but you can sort of get a sort of general magical sense if you want. Right. In that case, did one of you fellows pass that over here? I'll just have a look. Walk you. over, you coward! You're so lazy. Fuck no. <laughs> Walk over it. Have a great time. <laughs> I angrily shuffle <laughs> over Stomps to the group. Stomps over sulkingly. <laughs> yeah. Grumbling to snatches the Snatches the thing out of their hand, grumbling, glaring at it whilst inspecting it. like, like As if oh, it so was the problem all along. Oh, you picked it up. <laughs> you picked it up. Wait, wait, wait. You picked it up. They pick... Oh, I oh. didn't know I picked it up. <laughs> <sighs> Is it cursed? Uh, Is it cursed with as... everything? Yeah, probably. As you take it out of this like stone box, the like bottom of the box starts to like lower down, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna need three dexterity saving throws as a gout of fire spews out of the uh, statue in a big cone. Or one each, or three from me. Sorry, one each, right? Oh, uh, one each. <laughs> yeah. Okay, like, jeez. Three spouts of fire, all aimed at you. Suck on that, buddy. Seventeen. Sixteen. Okay, you roll. You action roll up the way. So do you. Hey. Meanwhile, incoming <laughs> the rogue fails. Fifteen. Oh no, you're all fine. Hey. Yeah. Well, that was a close one, guys. Right. Things are uh, seeming to get a bit hot in here. <laughs> uh, but it's still going. Uh. Like, for the moment. We should probably step Use away. To burn the books. I was going to say, someone grab the mummy and shove him <laughs> on the flames whilst they're there. Just grab the corpse, push him on it. Well, at the moment, you couldn't get near the thing because, like, flames like all around. It. I don't really want the uh, sword hilt. Around us. You know, one of you okay, got the so sword hilt. Now. As I've got the hilt, can I now inspect it? Yeah. Give me another check. Okay, are we doing investigation or arcana? Uh, whichever you like. I suppose if we do investigation, then I can see if it's magical, and then I can do Arcana to... I rolled a 15. Uh, on this sword hilt, you see there's a little sun symbol. Right. Uh, and you're fairly certain this is some sort of magical sword. So what you're trying to say is it's Solaire's, great, it's Solaire's straight sword. Could be. Maybe a religion check? Because I'm assuming a sure. sun emblem would be like a, deif a deific image of some description, like a sun god of some type. Seems like a shot. reasonable shout. Well, that's a six. <laughs> uh, no, it's you don't got a sun on it! What? <laughs> if it is a religious symbol, you ain't got a clue what it is. Can I uh, test my religious knowledge on it real quick? No, oh, I dropped my dice. Where'd it go? Uh, yeah, that's a two. So, you know, I know even less. Stand back, gentlemen. I am going to be doing a religion check. <laughs> One. <laughs> One but plus four. So take the five. <laughs> I called it. I called it. The first <laughs> roll of the new dice and it's a one. Uh, yeah, none of you seem to know anything about it. That's so, fantastic. Jibberwick especially looks the most baffled, though. <laughs> His brain almost looks like it's gonna it's hurting. Like he's is struggling he's so four. hard. But he just can't figure it out. Um You can't act, you can't get out of a critical fail. I don't care what your pluses are. Critical fail. You're dumb. 
Um, so, Doug, is there anything like particularly apart from the sword, the the sun emblem? Like, is it obviously missing a blade? Like, has the blade snapped or just not put, been put in? Or uh, no, it doesn't look like there's anything missing. It's a lightsaber. I'm gonna say, like, calling it. This now. sounds like it's some sort of magical blade. Can I look for a button of some description? Oh, I just side, thought yeah. maybe the actual sword is inside the sarcophagus with the mummy. We just said it doesn't look like there's anything missing. So I'm guessing it's like a sword hilt with a sun emblem. I'm going to guess it is literally like some sort of fire blade. Jim Wick's intelligence is still struggling from his uh, critical fail a second ago. <laughs> so we yeah, just kind of ignore The person with the highest thing. intelligence in the party. <laughs> <laughs> You, there doesn't seem to be any sort of button on it. Okay. Can I press the sun emblem whilst pointing the like stabby end where the stabby end would be at Jibblewick? <laughs> but a foot in doing by the power of Grace Girl. <laughs> I have the power. If I act that out, will you give me an extra bonus? <laughs> <laughs> No, um, okay, so I'm guessing we've pretty much done all the checks we're allowed to do, unless Doug will let us do more on this sword right now. Well, we haven't done an animal handling check on it. It could be a creature. I'm going to let Rob have one more go Ooh. since he is a cleric. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a cleric. I'm a paladin. Oh, same. Okie dokie. Right, here we, we both go. wear armor. Second try. That is a... What was I doing? Religion. Uh, 14 yeah. total. Okay, that's a bit better. Uh, Guys, I've had a second think... thought. <laughs> <laughs> You've remembered something important. Wait a second. Uh, you think this is not really a currently worshipped god? Guys, I don't think it's a currently worshipped god. Or at least not around here. Well, certainly not around these parts. <laughs> uh, but you think... You recall reading somewhere once that about the god Paylor. I think it's, uh, I remember reading about the god Paylor. It seems to remind me of it. Uh, and who's the god of uh, the sun and healing. God of the sun and, and healing. represents sort of life and light and all that sort You know, of all that good stuff. Life, light. Sounds like a swell guy. Dalton, I, I will ask, why do you keep having this large gap between each sentence you're saying? Remembering is hard. Leave me alone. <laughs> but you still don't know how to turn it on. I haven't got a clue how to turn it on, though, lads. Which implies it can be turned on. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hand the sword to Dalton, saying, well, as it's a religious thing, I suppose you should have it. Thanks. Dirty religion. Yes. Give me a good cult any Dirty day. Dirty religion. Um, at least my gods exist. They come out of the water and look at me. So anyway, as you grab the sword hill, uh, you feel like a bit more of an affinity with it as a, you know, a religious man. Sweet. And uh, what does this affinity uh, tell me? Or what do I, what do I, what kind of, what kind of feeling is it? One of I can weld, weld, wield. I can weld this sword <laughs> into something else, holding it in place. Maybe weld it to Jibblewick's uh, longsword and make a two a double ended longsword of magic. <laughs> You'd be the Darth Maul of the D and D world. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, yeah, what do I what do I feel, Dungeon Master? Uh, you can hear like Halo sort of whisper in your mind. Some sort of. I'm gonna let you pick the word that activates this thing, just because I can't be bothered to think of one. Ooh, I get, I get to make a decision, guys. Guys, I get to make a decision. Sure, we've made every decision so far. The word that I realise triggers the sword is concubine. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the point. All right, I'll uh, I'll think of a sec. A new word. <laughs> you put me on the spot. Luckily, I can edit all of this out. Uh, Helios. I feel like you should edit none of this out. Yeah, you're right. The word that uh, triggers it is Helios, or Helios, which is uh, the Greek name 
for the sun, I believe. Do you say that? Yeah, well, yeah, fuck it. Pointing away from my companions, <laughs> I say, Helios! Uh, so, a blade of pure radiance springs into existence. Told you it was a lightsaber. <laughs> I feel like I've kind of got shafted here, you know. We've got a magical sword, fucking flaming sword, and what do I get? A twig. <laughs> a magic twig? Come on, it's not all bad. Do I, uh, does this sword of magic and brilliance come with any perks or attack? It's on fire. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's not, it's not fiery. It's more uh. radiant. It's a radiant damage. Okay. You mean we can't burn books with this sword? I, I'm no longer. Well, with a time. magnifying glass, maybe. I throw it away. I joke. I don't really throw it away. <laughs> uh, well, for one thing, it uh, emits bright light in a 15 foot radius. Right, so I can and always dim... see now. You've, you've you are the torch. torch. <laughs> I don't need that torch anymore. I throw it away. No, no, no. You've now got a torch. You've got a oh. flashlight. Yes. Perfect. 15 foot. 15 foot torch. Like a 30 foot of dim light. Wicked. So this isn't a sword at all. It is a torch. It's literally a flashlight, like uh, Scram's saying. Uh, you can only use this sword once a day. So I've used it for the day. <laughs> well, it, it'll last a while, but like you can't just use it all the time. Cool. Once, one use per day. But uh, when you hit an undead target with it, it'll take an extra 1d8 radiant damage. And it's... Uh, plus one to attack and damage anyway. Does it do extra damage to rats by any chance? <laughs> Undead rats, yeah. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh dear lord. A sound of a stampede from the left of the curse. An army of zombie rats moors into the room. I nudge Dalton, Sebastian, Belvedere, Grey and like nod my head towards the sarcophagus going, eh? 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 I nod yeah, out, eh? it I is nod time out. we open it's this. <laughs> it is still surrounded by flames. So, uh, oh, we should probably put something back in the box to. Uh... Don't you have that ability where you can make fire bend at your will, and oh, you yeah. can make the we fires go? Not quite. It, well, yeah, not really bend to my will, but yeah, I do. Um, how about you? Uh, you know, contribute. Um, or we could just put something back in the box. Well, no, uh, actually, I've got. Um, a number of books that I've now read. <laughs> um, it's like, I put it's like less book... than an hour later, but okay. Uh, well, I read quick. Fair enough. Uh, I put one of these books into the um, into the box. Are you going to throw the rest into the flames, or no? I'm going to keep them. Through the fire in the I flames. Mean, I haven't finished reading about all the mushrooms yet. Uh. I mean, if I read, if I read what mushrooms there are in there, we could go back and you know eat some of them. There might not be much room in your memory to do that. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, the the fire goes out. Sweet. <laughs>